Hey everyone, so I thought today to start off this video we could just do something fun So we're gonna play a quick game of rock paper scissors just you and me mano y mano Are you ready like hands out? I'm not even kidding. Are you are you ready? Here we go and just to be clear It's gonna be rock paper scissors shoot none of this rock paper scissors stuff All right, it's rock paper scissors shoot. Okay, so here we go ready rock paper scissors shoot Ha ha! I win! You might be thinking to yourself, but Jet, I put paper. I beat you. But the best part about this video is that I can't see what you put, so I'm just gonna chalk it up as a win for me. Um, but my incredible rock, paper, scissors victory aside, I'm so glad you're here. Like, I'm glad you're watching. I hope you're making the most out of this quarantine that we're in. Like, I've seen a lot of people have been using this time at home to go through, like, old family photos together, like Mike, who just posted this picture of him and Jenny, uh, of one of their, I think, like, totally normal date nights to the saloon or something. I, I don't know. He said it was for a skit that they were doing for a VBS, but I'm pretty sure they weren't even, like, required to wear costumes for the skit, and it was just more of, like, a come-as-you-are type thing. But... I don't know, it was a different time. I guess that's what people were wearing in Iowa back then. But I've seen a lot of people posting old family pictures, like baby pictures, fun pictures of themselves from when they were younger. And it got me feeling just a little bit nostalgic. And so I did some digging of my own and I found this video that Mike and I made when I was an intern for him like six years ago or something like that. Like we were doing a series called God Cares About. And that particular week we were talking about how God cares about people. And so Mike and I, we made this incredible skit to intro the night. Like, I, I think it'll be fun for you to see. Like, you'll get to see how we've really always had such a high value on production and writing to make sure that we're producing the best content that's really ever been on screen. So don't, don't get distracted and be like, wow, Jeff, like, how have you always been so good at making videos? Like, I I don't know, it's a gift. Like some people just have it, and I, I think you'll be able to see through Mike and I's performance here uh, that, that we have it. So, take a look. Ooh, what should I get? Guardian of the Galaxy. So, what do you think you're uh, doing here, mis mister? Found myself a crisp one dollar bill. I'm gonna buy myself a little snacky snack. So we get this straight, you're gonna take uh, your dollar and you're gonna buy yourself a snack. Correct. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And uh, did you not see the homeless guy that you just skippity danced right past asking, begging for food? The guy with this sign? I must have missed him. Well, listen up. I think your priorities are a little bit out of whack. Because you clearly don't need any extra food. You got your little spare tire going on over here. And the poor starving, emaciated, homeless guy over there could die if he doesn't get food and you're gonna spend your dollar on your- Now, don't get me wrong. Some Gardettos would be pretty tasty in the moment. But just maybe the better use of that dollar is for that poor starving guy over there. I was told by the guardian of the galaxy that you might need this more than me. Now, if, if that doesn't just inspire you and give you the amazing reminder that God cares about people, then I, I don't know what will. Uh, but seeing this video, it, it got me thinking and I wanted to share those thoughts with you tonight. Like amidst all of the craziness that's surrounding us right now, like a, go a global pandemic unlike anything that we've ever seen before in our lifetime. Like a time where we aren't able to see our friends or extended family or really anyone outside of our house other, other than like 
the massive crowds of people that just must live at Walmart and Target and Costco. I see them all the time, but but there's this weird dynamic in the world right now where we aren't really allowed to, or, or at least we're not supposed to see people. Like we're all called to do our part with social distancing, and yet at the same time, there are a lot of people with great need. And there's also the fact that like we need connection. Like we were created to be together, and when we can't be together, it takes a toll on us that, I don't know about you, but you start to feel after a while. Like I, I know last week it was just kind of like gloomy and, and cold all week and everything's closed and it's just like, what am I supposed to do with myself? And it's in times like these where the uncertainty around us can easily turn into anxiety and worry and fear. And a lot of times when we start to feel those emotions, we just turn inward. Like we only think about ourselves and, and how anxious we are and, and how unfair and annoying this all is. And we just turn inward and we separate ourselves from others when what we really need is connection with others and to turn outward. And I think during this time when we're naturally separated from the people around us, we need to be extra intentional about and put in more effort at connecting with others, like encouraging them and building them up because now more than ever, I feel like we could all use a little bit of encouragement and a little love and just the important reminder that God really does still care about us, even in the midst of a pandemic. The Bible says that we're supposed to love our neighbor. In fact, that was the second of the two greatest commandments that Jesus gives us. He says, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. Like we're, we're supposed to love the people around us. And it doesn't say, like, be pleasant to your neighbor. It says, love them. It doesn't say, love your neighbor as yourself unless there's a global pandemic. Like it says, love them, build them up, treat them more highly than yourselves. Like the Bible in multiple places talks about the importance of reaching out to our neighbors and loving them. And like I just said, like we could all use a little love right now, right? And we could all use a little encouragement. We could all use some positivity. And so how can we encourage and be there for and lift each other up during this time when we can't physically be together? Like I think we just have to get a little bit creative. Like yesterday, I posted a video of Grant and I singing, You've Got a Friend in Me, and challenged everyone to send it to a friend or two that they're missing right now to lift them up. Like, you can do that. You can leave a note on your neighbor's door that says, Hey, neighbor, I know this is a crazy time, and I just wanted you to know that we're here for you in any way that can be helpful. And so if you need anything, just let us know. Like, here's my number. Have a great day. Looking forward to seeing you again when we can leave the house. I, I, I don't know, something like that. You can randomly text your friends that you miss them or send them a funny meme or GIF or revive video or you can FaceTime, FaceTime them and just play Uno like you normally would if you were together when you're doing Uno stuff. But whatever it looks like, like there are so many ways that we can be building up the people around us during a time of distancing. Like I said last week, I, I'm all for and I agree that we should be physically distancing ourselves for the safety and well-being of the people around us. Like physical distancing, it, it's great. It's a great way to love the people around us well, but we can't be social distancing. Like now more than ever, we need social connection. Physical distancing, but social connection. And so how are you going to connect with and build someone up this week? And really, I guess beyond this week too, let's not just limit it to this week, but how can we use this season to connect with others in a unique ways that builds them up and really ourselves up too, so that someday when COVID-19 is just a story that we tell, we can look back at how we built others up and how we loved our neighbors well, and we can have a story worth telling. Like what story are you writing?